Hello and welcome. Do you want to make a fun Valentine's Day card for friends, family, people you love? I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Normally with the whole card thing, people usually buy generic cards that you can get from most stores out there and they give them to the person and they look at it for about five seconds and then set it down or discard it. And it's pretty much cardboard for the recycling, right? Not many people hold on to cards or spend more than five seconds looking at them. Well, with these cards, you need to take a little more extra time and it puts a little fun into the card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create scratch me cards. These are very cute, very fun to make. You can find the scratch vinyl on Amazon. I'm not sure if Michaels carries it. I haven't looked, but you can definitely order it online and find it on places like Amazon and you can get different shapes. I got some stars, hearts, squares, uh, thought bubbles, all different kinds of things you can get. I'm gonna put down in the description what you gotta look up to be able to find this special scratch vinyl. We are going to open up Cricut Design Space on the tablet today for this project. We're going to create a new canvas. First thing I'm going to do is bring in two squares. One I'm going to have curved corners and the other I'm going to have pointed corners. I'm going to size the one with curved corners to the size of the scratch me vinyls that I have. And then I'm going to size the one, the square with pointed corners around that. I'm going to make, it looks kind of like a TV themed or an etch-a-sketch themed design. I'm going to add some text in there and put in scratch me. And I'm going to change it to a cursive font because I think it looks prettier and nicer. I like the way that that looks. I'm going to put that down below at the bottom of the card and I'm going to add in two hearts. I'm going to change the color of the heart to white. I'm going to make the scratch me words black and I'm going to size them all to fit in there perfectly. And then I've got to design what is going to be under the scratch me vinyl. You can bring in images or you can create them yourself. I'm going to show you both in this video. For one, I uploaded an image, cut out one of the sayings and put it in that space. That's how it would look if you covered it up with the Scratch Me vinyl. And I'm going to also customize one myself by writing in the message with text, changing it to the font I want and uh, making little hearts all the way around the words in different colors. Let me know down in the comments which one you liked better, the image I brought in or the image I created from scratch. So you just design it, add in things, change it around till you get it the way you want it. Once you're happy with it, I'm gonna grab everything except the silver square because I'm not gonna need to cut that out because it's already cut out and ready to go. I already have the scratch me vinyl ready. So I'm gonna take that away and I'm gonna grab everything else and I'm gonna flatten it so that I can print it out. There is another option. You can have all of the cardstock colors that you need and you can cut each of these out individually. You can either print the text on the cardstock and cut out the hearts separately with either cardstock or permanent or adhesive vinyl and add them on to the cardstock or you can print the hearts out on the cardstock and just have it all together printed. It's up to you whether you want to assemble this card or just print it out as one page. So once you have it all set up the way you want it, whether you're printing it or cutting each individually and assembling it together, we're gonna to jump over to the printer and I'm gonna print this out and then I'm going to make it. So I printed it out with the printer and then I cut out the cards with my Cricut. Now I'm gonna put the Scratch Me vinyl on the cards. I did notice that I didn't like 
the color of the red on cardstock for this project. I'm not sure why the printer printed it out so dull. Maybe that's because the cardstock is thicker and it absorbs more of the color. But I did go ahead and print out the design on sticker paper and cut out a piece of cardstock the same shape. I'm just going to add the sticker paper to the cardstock and then add the scratch final on top of that. The red is so much more vibrant on the sticker paper. I loved it so much more. And with the sticker paper, you can also stick it onto a, a card you make and have it on the inside of a card. That way when they open it up, they'll see a scratch me stuck to the inside of it. Or you can set it inside the card so it like falls out when they open the card and they'll have a scratch me ticket inside a Valentine's Day card. It's completely up to you. You can customize this project and do it any way that you prefer. But that is how to make a Scratch Me Valentine's Day card. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Happy crafting.